All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. All right, um, I'm always promoting the underdogs in the music world and uh, Bridget Kelly Band. This is their album, Winter's Coming, featuring the brilliant guitar work of Tim Fick. That's uh, F-I-K. Um, I've seen these guys live a couple of times. I should have gone and seen them a few more times. Um, you won't be disappointed. You'll get in for like 10, 15, maybe 20 bucks, and you'll sit there and right there on the stage in front of you will be this guy who's playing guitar like, I don't know. I mean, he's he's just amazing. I first got into this band with this album here, which is a double CD. It's called Bone Rattler, and it kind of does rattle your bones a little bit. So it's basic blues rock, low production value, high value, though, high musical value. All right. It's just the way they record it. Um, Still sounds good. I mean, I pop this in the stereo in the car and uh, cruising down the road, and it just it sounds amazing. I think production wise, this probably is their best album. So check out Winter's Coming. You won't be disappointed, uh, and you won't be disappointed listening to Modern Retro Radio, modernretrofm.com, playing the music that other radio stations just don't have the courage to play, and uh, doing it around the clock. 24-7, great radio station. Now on to Alice Cooper. A bunch of uh, patrons on this channel sent me uh, links to various articles. Uh, here's a headline. Rock legend Alice Cooper loses cosmetics deal after blasting. Alice Cooper was blasting. Transgenderism and called it a fad. Oh, no, Alice. Oh, no. Um... Wow, dude. Um, I was giving Alice a lot of grief. Vincent, if you'd rather call him Vincent. All right. Um, <laughs> I was calling, I mean, Vincent Cooper, Alice Cooper. It, Alice Cooper is the character, right? And it's his stage persona. But I was giving him a hard time a couple of weeks ago because he goes around and does interviews with uh, Pastor Greg Laurie, not to be confused with former keyboard player uh, for Journey, Greg Raleigh. Okay, I, I do that sometimes where my mind wants to say Craig Raleigh. Um, anyway, uh, he, you know, made this deal with Vampire Cosmetics, um, but they've decided to cut ties with the shock rock legend after his comments blasting uh, uh, TD-ism, I'll call it TD-ism, as a fad. And then the interview, God forbid, went public last week. In light of recent statements by Alice Cooper, we will no longer be doing a makeup collaboration. We stand with all members of the Alphabet community and believe everyone should have access to health care. <laughs> all pre-order sales will be refunded. The company wrote, so they're not even they're not even going to take the money from the pre-orders. They're just going to refund it. Holy crap, Batman. Um, and this is why... The culture war, you know, it, it can be lost very easily if if you don't. You're like, okay, you know, I was going to use this cosmetics line for Halloween because basically these are Halloween-oriented products. And uh, Alice Cooper, one of the few uh, people that would, m you know, maybe benefit from this type of cosmetic. And I was giving him a hard time like, dude, you're in your 70s. I know this is your stage persona. I know this is what you've been doing for 100 years. But it it's it just feels old. It feels old. It's like we're kind of in this culture war. And you're a Christian. You go around saying, I'm a Christian. Um, I know the Bible, right? And the Bible says to kind of, you know, abstain from even the appearance of evil. Like, don't even look this way, dude. You know, credit to uh, Michael Sweet. I think I mentioned him in the last video. I mean, yeah, other than the, what is it, the yellow and black spandex from the 80s, which is just horrible. Um, Striper has been a fairly constant force without getting into this opposite day mentality where if I can go really crazy, if I can be 
totally insane, then more people will pay attention to me rather than just sharing the message, which is already powerful. Um, you don't need a whole uh, lot of, of gimmickry in order to be successful if you're sharing a positive message. And, you know, Alice Cooper kind of does both things. He's kind of on the fence. I think Michael Sweet is definitely on the right side of the fence. Um, you know, you've got bands out there like Skillet. They're on the right side of the fence. I remember P.O.D. from years ago. I don't know where they are now. They're kind of interesting. Uh, but these are bands that made inroads in the hard rock and heavy metal arena. Um, I, and, and they didn't completely just lose their testimony. Uh, they, they actually were fairly consistent. Although, again, if you want to make bigger bucks, you'll, you know, you'll quiet down on that uh, crazy Christianity and you'll just pretend that it doesn't exist. And then maybe in your bio somewhere, you'll mention. So one of the headlines here is Alice Cooper says that TDism has reached the point of absurdity where it endangers women and children. So he's taking an even tougher stand. Um, that's, that's pretty interesting. I'm actually fairly uh, surprised, but I was kind of making fun of this. The vampire brand describes itself as proudly women owned disabled owned and alphabet soup owned and offers cruelty free and talc free products to customers at multiple stores nationwide now did the vampire brand not know that alice cooper was a professing christian my guess is they probably had no idea and you know what folks that does not speak highly of alice cooper as far as his christian testimony um you should know, hey, this guy says he's a Christian. You know, um, John Elefante, formerly of Kansas. I know that guy's a Christian, okay? He's not afraid, by the way, to sing about those things and to talk about those things. Whereas Alice Cooper does this dark side dance, you know, and you can read into his lyrics and maybe he's trying to make a statement about something, but it's kind of disguised. Then all the people you know, playing these characters are all real dark and goth looking. And typically that's not Christianity. Typically, and, and I'm not trying to condemn everybody who's gothic or has an interesting look to themselves. But when you're pushing this out there and then you're hanging out, I think there is a problem. There's a dichotomy there. You've got Greg Laurie over here and you've got Vampire Cosmetics over there. And they're telling you that they're Alphabet Soup owned, the owners. Now, if I'm Alice Cooper, do I not find out <laughs> who I'm partnering with? Oh, this company believes in that stuff. Well, if I speak out against it, I'm going to get canceled. Boom. All right. So poor planning, Alice. Uh, Alice is probably going to find it difficult to find a company that shares his worldview that sells vampire-like cosmetics. Just saying, the two things don't go together. As much as I like Halloween for the candy part of it, uh, I am very concerned about the darkness of it. And over the years, it's gotten darker and creepier and scarier. They typically will release really dark, sick horror movies, which I don't watch. Uh, they'll do that you know, the weekend before Halloween or Halloween itself. So you can really enjoy that scary, spooky, crazy, dark, demonic, yes, demonic Halloween spirit. You know, I think people have to pick a side at this stage. And this might not be your issue. Look, and, and here's my opinion about all of this. You're 18 years old and you've got informed consent. You know what you're doing with your life and you want to go do it you can go ahead and do that. I'm not stopping you. I'm worried about the kids, obviously, who are being corrupted, um, who can't make good decisions because kids don't make good decisions. I've had kids, they don't make good decisions even when they reach that age of 18, 19, 20. They're still making horrible decisions, all right? And ask any parent worth their salt who's paying attention. Yeah, my kid's 25, he's still on the couch, he's still eating Doritos, still, 
playing, you know, Minecraft or whatever. And I'm, I'm sitting there going, uh, you know, there's stuff going on out there in the world. You might want to check it out, you know, get out and enjoy life and all that stuff. Um, so they're not fully formed, <laughs> you know, they're the brainstem, the, the activity is just, it's just weak. It's not, it's not strong enough. So when somebody says, you know, even when I'm saying here, you're 18, yeah, that's the legal age in some states. You can't drink at 21, right? I think it's 21 for the most part. Uh, driving is 16, but what fighting a war is 18. So I guess 18, um, I'm still very skeptical though, that people of that age are going to make good decisions. Uh, and for humanity in general, I think this is a bad idea and I'll continue to say this is a bad idea, but you have the freedom to do bad ideas so long as it's not hurting other people. Now I can argue that it's probably going to really hurt you. And they're sending, they're, they're saying this is healthcare, healthcare. Why would you deny somebody healthcare? Uh, I don't see a health benefit here. Well, it's a psychological thing because then they're going to think highly of themselves at that point and they're going to fit in. Au contraire, I think they're going to fit in less with society. No matter how hard you push this, there are people out there that are going to instantly recoil. And it's, it's, I would say it's biological. Now, if you think you can just reprogram society and that's your goal, good luck. And like I said in one of the other videos, you're going to have to do this globally. And you're not going to, there's no way in every single country on this planet that you're going to convince people that this is normal, natural, and it's always existed throughout human history. We just now have this great technology where we can give the people what they want and fix them because they're broken. This completely undermines the idea of a sovereign God who knew what he was doing when he made you. And to me, that I think is the biggest problem with all of this is this is man playing God. Ah, I don't like this. I don't like the way I was, I was made, so I'm going to fix it. That's to me, I don't know. That's the ultimate in arrogance, prideful arrogance. But pride is a big deal. Pride is a big deal right now. Uh, pride, I think, is something that comes right before the fall. <laughs> Just, but nobody's listening. It's hello. Is anybody out there? La la la. I can't hear you. What? What did you say? You know, I, I'm just a voice crying in the wilderness. I'm Dave the Baptist, right? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. So, in any event, folks, um, good for Alice Cooper overall. Good for Alice. We'll see, by the way, if he uh, sticks with this. Carlos Santana caved like, I don't know, his, just, he just caved right in the other day and said, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I messed up. I should have never said that men are men and women are women. Um, and he's back to you know doing what he does. But the problem is he's damaged. He's, now he's damaged and he's recanted. So now he's got both sides. One side is suspicious because they know how he really feels. The other side is like, dude, why did you cave in? Not the best move, but, you know, he's a peacemaker. All of these guys from the 60s, throw Alice Cooper in there too. Um, they're all peacemakers. They're all like, you know what? I don't, I don't want to rock the boat. I want to be liked. I want people to think I'm cool. Um this isn't that important because it doesn't really concern or affect me. No, it only just concerns and affects all of Western civilization. That's it. That's it. So anyway, folks, um, that's my video on the, on this topic. Here's a Bridget Kelly band winter's coming. Winter is coming. And apparently the CDC has new guidelines. Holy crap, Batman. I can't wait. It's going to be great. Round two, round three. Ugh. And uh, all brought to you by certain pharmaceutical companies who are just so happy that the media now is shilling for them again. And people are panicking and fearful. By the way, uh, I'm in the path of a hurricane, possibly. Hurricane Idalia. Yeah, um, it's the eyes. I told people we had Irma, we had Ian, and now we've got Idalia. So this is just great. I'm just really looking forward to it. So if I'm not doing videos for a couple of days because the power is out, um, at least you'll know the reason. So I'll keep folks up to date. And uh, I want to just say 
Thanks to all the new subscribers, the new patrons, um, people just uh, just being very gracious, very nice. A lot of nice comments after the Eric Clapton video. Uh, one week ago today, I did the Eric Clapton uh, interview, and Eric is such a great guy. Hopefully, we're going to do it again. So you got to subscribe and you got to support because this could be the only place. And guess what? Like I've said, if it appears that I'm not able to earn a living here, I'll go somewhere else and I'll I'll interview Eric just exclusively over there. So in any event, uh, that's a good thing. Uh, Eric and I were we're buds. We're we're best we're best pals. And uh, who knew, right? Who knew? If you told me this. Um, Five years ago, I think I just would have been like, yeah, right. Eric Clapton, he's never going to talk to me. But um, here we are. All right. See you soon.